Recently, we have a new trend. If your phone isn't bezel-less, it will feel a bit outdated. But today, even ultra-budget segment got something to offer. Yes, it isn't really like Xiaomi Mix or something in that range, but it is a step in the right direction. Here we have a LiGo M5 Edge. LiGo is a brand which I consider reliable, with their offerings. M5 Edge is a compact device. It features 5-inch 720p screen with quite a thin side bezels. Every corner of the screen is easily reachable and grip is excellent. Build quality is ok, not perfect but not bad either. Back is made of plastic and it is removable. Frame is smart combination of metal and plastic. Overall, it feels sturdy and well built. Few words about so-called curved edges. Sadly, this is marketing trick. Glass is curved by a small degree, but nothing more. In return, you get pretty small side bezels, and overall screen is high quality, with appealing the look from aesthetic side. Telephony performed perfectly in both ways. Loudspeaker is not that much loud, mediocre at best. But 3.5mm output has astonishingly loud output. It will literally blow you away with volume and sound quality for this price. Before we continue, consider clicking subscribe button and supporting my work. Thank you. Android 6 is powered by Mediatek Quad-Core CPU, which is decent performer. But I'm disappointed that LiGo didn't include Android 7 on M5 Edge. Even without it, M5 Edge performs decently smooth, considering price and hardware configuration. Applications load reasonably fast and multitasking is fine with 2GB of RAM. I don't have complaints about OS performance, but with Android 7 it can be even better. So let's help Leo do a update in the future. Fingerprint sensor is located on the back and it works great, fast and accurate, and that is a huge plus. What I don't like about OS is Team, which apparently can be changed. For my taste, it is not best choice. Games are playable with expected need to lower graphic details in demanding titles, but don't expect miracles if you want to play graphic-intensive games. Overall performance of LiGo M5 Edge is great, it has enough power to satisfy a variety of users, but it has clear limitation in gaming segment, but other than that it will work great in usual daily tasks. What was pleasant surprise is camera. Back unit is capable of producing pretty decent photos, or better to say, usable photos. Sometimes colors are a bit washed out, but in general you will get usable photos during the day. Videos are recorded in 720p, they are ok for some emergency shooting, and it is worth noting that in video mode you get continuous autofocus. Front camera is nothing special. Again, usable, but for my taste, not really appealing. Battery life is something which isn't strong point of M5 Edge. With tiny 2000 mAh battery, it is clear where LiGo needed to make a cut to keep price minimal. From my experience, if you use M5 Edge with accent on voice calls and minimal amount of screen on time, battery life won't be a problem for you. But if you do anything else which will force a lot of on-screen time, then you will need to have a power bank or charger with you. In more explanatory way, you have around 4 to 5 hours of on-screen time. LiGo M5 Edge is cheap device, but it packs overall satisfying package, with battery life as weakest spot. For some it will be unacceptable, but if you don't have problem to charge it more often then it can be good buy for ridiculously low price. And let's be realistic. For 80 bucks you can get everything, compromise needs to be made, but this doesn't make M5 Edge bad device, quite a contrary, it has great value for its price. Links where you can find M5 Edge can be found down below, also consider supporting my work by subscribing and until next video, see ya!